What's going on guys? This is the Red Rogue and I hope you're all doing well today. For this episode, we'll be taking a look at one of the new changes coming to farmable old content in patch 915, Island Expeditions. You know, those things that were super popular in BFA because they weren't, oh, I don't know, spammed for 8,000 years straight because they were the only way to consistently farm Azerite. Yeah, those. Pot shots and easy jokes aside, I actually was and still am quite a fan of Island Expeditions. They offer a metric ton of rewards, ranging from pets, toys, transmog, and plenty of mounts as well. For those who have never done an island expedition before, it's basically like a mini scenario, where your goal is to gather a certain amount of Azerite to fill up a bar before the bots on the enemy team fill up theirs. There are a bunch of enemies you can kill and events to complete, and the islands change on a weekly rotation, so there's actually quite a lot of replayability and just different things to do on each island expedition. One of the most unfortunate things about island expeditions, other than people probably not liking them because they had to binge on them forever for Azerite power, is that you need to queue with at least two other people looking to do islands, or you needed to form a three-player party to avoid waiting for who knows how long for the queue to pop. Well, this is going to be changing in patch 915, as solo island expeditions will finally be available. To queue for a solo island expedition as a horde player, simply head to the docks of Dazarlor in Zuldazar and talk with Captain Rezo Kun and select one of the three private tours based on the difficulty level that you'd like to try out, which will range from normal to heroic and lastly mythic. For Alliance players, you'll talk to Flynn Fairwind in the Boralus Harbor of, surprise, Boralus, the main hub in Tiragard Sound. The nice thing for my testing of all three difficulties of Island Expedition solo runs is that they're all really, really easy, as they should be since you're level 60 if you're at max level and are virtually untouchable by most enemies, outside of a few annoying roots, snares, and stuns. Normal solo expeditions are laughably easy, to the point where I literally had to AFK for about 20-25 minutes for the NPC team to eventually win if they weren't accidentally wiping and killing themselves. Heroic and Mythic expeditions provided little challenge either, though the NPCs were a bit more efficient and didn't die as often and were able to pick up quite a bit more Azerite if I left them to their own devices. Most amusingly about Island Expeditions, for those who remember it, is that enemy boats Canna Mirage would previously basically kill you whenever you got too close to the spawn point of the enemy team. Now it barely does any damage. Granted, I have a relatively geared character, but I think honestly any level 60 with even just the Covenant campaign armor or Corthia ketchup gear should have virtually no issues with dying to these enemies. Another funny bit of info for you all is that you can actually just sit and camp on the enemy boat and just slaughter them over and over if you really want to get vengeance on them for all those years of annoying you, though you sadly cannot kill the ship's captain, which I was really hoping was like some secret way of winning an island expedition that we just couldn't do during BFA or something like that, but yeah, he just goes down to one health and he never dies, so really unfortunate. Regardless, I highly recommend bringing a character or spec that isn't target cap to your island expeditions as you'll want to pull a ton of rares and enemies together and AoE the crap out of them to make these islands more efficient. On average, without trying too hard, I would say my solo expeditions took anywhere between like 8 to 10 minutes, which I'm sure someone out there will be able to do even faster than that depending on the class or spec that they are. An added perk is that you can once again use your Heart of Azeroth if you have a bunch of the Azerite essences unlocked for it. If whatever legendary you're wearing isn't a neck, then it's probably worth wearing the heart exclusively for the gains that some classes get from essences, which are pretty useful. Unfortunately, the UI is currently bugged to hell on the PTR, so I couldn't swap any of my essences around to like min-max island expeditions. But this will of course be fixed very quickly because Blizzard is really, really, really efficient at reading all those bug reports and actually fixing things when we tell them that things aren't working right, of course, definitely, yes. Anyways, being able to reliably farm seafarers doubloons again from clearing expeditions is going to be really nice, as there are a ton of rewards you can buy from your doubloons trader and your high sea salvage experts once you stockpile enough of them. I recommend looking up each of the salvage crates on a site like Wowhead so you can see the potential rewards in each box, as certain mounts and such can only come from certain salvage crates. This will also let you complete the solo weekly quest for finding enough Azerite from island expeditions, which also rewards you with a special mission for your BFA follower command table thingy if you actually ever did that. While I'm usually dreadfully unlucky and just get gold or azurite, it is possible to earn mounts and transmog and other junk like that from it as well. 
Seriously, if you've never done island expeditions before, the amount of stuff that you can collect from them is pretty insane, so I highly recommend giving them a try. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the video, and if so, maybe consider leaving a like or a comment, as they're tremendously helpful to the channel's growth and the almighty YouTube algorithm. As always, my appreciation and gratitude to all of my viewers, and especially my patrons, who all help make these Shiba shenanigans possible. Thank you all so much for watching. This is the Red Rogue, and I'll see you guys around.